In this video, I'm gonna share with you five simple things that you can look at to know whether or not your plant is poison hemlock or not. So I recently found out we have a ton of poison hemlock on our property. Look at this, this is all poison hemlock, all of those white flowered tall plants growing here. So I'm gonna share with you how to easily identify whether or not a plant is poison hemlock. All right guys, so poison hemlock can grow to about one to three meters tall. And look at the stem, it has these purple splotches on it. So it's not just green, it's green with these purple splotches. And so that's probably the most distinctive characteristic. But then you've got all these white flowers. You have white flowers, but they're not all bunched together like Queen Anne's lace. They're kind of spread out into different bunches. Now the stem is smooth. It's not hairy like Queen Anne's lace. And if you pull out the root, you can see it. there's a deep tap root and it's white and you can pull it out of the ground relatively easily if you have soft soil. If you have poison hemlock, it's very important to do something about it because I've read online on at least one website that if you eat just a single leaf of this, it could potentially kill you. And if cattle or sheep eat, you know, 100 grams or more of this, it could make them die as well. Kind of shuts down your nervous system, makes you stop breathing, and you die. This is, I believe, a relative to the hemlock plant that killed Socrates back in like 400 BC. It's super dangerous. You don't want to burn it. You don't want to touch it. You can break out with these boils. Uh, anyway, it's really nasty stuff, but hopefully this video is helpful for you to identify what you have.